Hey love, so we're going to start off this get ready with me bare faced. I have done my brows off camera already and I'll write the products that I use in the info box. But right now I'm using my Glam Glow Moisturising Sun Glow and just putting this on my face. And now I'm also going in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. I absolutely love this stuff. And then I am also using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer. Like I love these products together and they never fail me. Um, so yeah, I'm just applying my primer. It is broken so that's why I am applying it like this. And you probably might say I tug on my skin a lot but it's just how I apply my moisturiser. But ideally you would want to do, use more tapping motions I would say. <laughs> um, now I'm going in with the Iconic London Illuminator. Uh, this is the original one and I wanted to try this thing where I put this all under my face and then as I ha have it like as a glowy base but to be honest I don't know if I like doing this because I felt like it accentuated every single bump on my face uh, it looks so pretty if you have silky soft skin but one of my main issues at the moment on my is my textured skin and I'm I don't know I wasn't really happy with it so I don't think I'll be doing this again um so now I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation in 330 guys i cannot recommend this foundation enough it's like my number one like it's surpassed my makeup revolution ultra hd foundation stick it's just so so good and now i'm using a tarte shape tape concealer now there is a lot of controversy around tarte and their shades and stuff but i feel like what they've done just needs they just need to step up their game that's why i would advise them but i still love this tarte shape tape concealer and i have like two tubes left so i still have to use it and i don't know i'm gonna see how they improve like hopefully they can improve their shades and if not then there's no point of me recommending them anymore because what's the point if you guys can't buy it so i'm going to just try and finish these concealers and see what goes on with them but yeah i'm just applying this under my eyes and on my lids the bridge of my nose my smile lines and my forehead and i just blended it all out with my damp beauty blender i absolutely love the black beauty beauty blender it's so so good it's like the best one out of all the beauty blenders i've tried like three of, of the types so far Anyways, now I'm using the Fenty Beauty Matchsticks. I'm using the shade Suede and Espresso. I really love these to contour like the heck out of my skin because I've got a very round face as you guys can tell by now. And it just helps to like chisel my cheeks and they blend so easily, like really effortlessly. And they just stay on really well. The colours are so good. I feel like I really love the colours and that's why I use them so often and the formula is good as well. Oh, and I'm doing a bit of contouring on my nose as well. My nose is a bit hard to contour because it has this weird shape, but... Anyways, I did do that. And also, to blend the contour, I did use a brush because I need to actually wash my brushes. So I would recommend using a more firmer brush, like a denser brush. I was recently sent these brushes from NYX and their brushes are so good. But I used with this um, small um, stippling brush, it's super tiny and it's actually so good at contouring your nose with, like just blending out the product. Um, so I was just using that. And then when I was done finishing contouring, I did go with my Kat Von D loose setting powder and put some on my beauty blender and just did a bit of baking with that. I set my under eyes, my smile lines, under my contour to kind of clean it up a bit. I love doing this by the way, it really cleans up your contour. I then went on to using a clean brush to brush off all the excess powder from all the areas I applied it. And then after that I decided to move on to my eyes and I'm first going to use this NYX eyeshadow. It's such a vibrant bluish colour but it applies much darker on the lids. Um, so I was just really packing this on and then using a clean brush to blend out the edges and I feel like this is the best way to work with eyeshadow. It's like if you just pat on that eyeshadow wherever you want it to be you can use some swiping motions like i'm doing here but i'm usually mostly like patting it on and then i'm using clean brush to blend out the edges um, i also went in with this nyx eyeshadow in a different color i don't know the colors but i will write them in the info box um, and link them as well but i'm patting this purple shadow on the outer v area and a little bit in the crease these eyeshadows are like really stunning like surprisingly super pigmented and so easy to work with and there's no fallout at all um, and I'm now using this NYX, another NYX eyeshadow I went to a NYX event so I do, it's such a coincidence honestly that I used 
like NYX eyeshadows because my outfit was like lilac so I wanted to work with purple eyeshadows um, but yeah I'm just applying this shadow with my finger on my lid and I'm also going in with this um, Primark eyeshadow I think this is like 70p but it's so good and I think the shade is called Sunkissed but again I will link it in not link it but write it in the info box because I can't link Primark products um, so yeah, I'm just lightly tapping that onto that lighter purplish shade. And now I'm going in with some NYX Matte Liquid Eyeliner, the black one. I wanted my liner to be super black, so this is like one of the best ones I have. And I just did a classic wing liner with this. Then once I was done with both liners, I did go in to curl my lashes like I always do and I'm using my L'Oreal Miss Baby Roll Mascara and I'm just applying a bit on this so that my lashes stay curled up. I, when I use falsies, I don't really like to apply too much mascara because it gets a little bit heavy at times. But after that, I did use my Eyelore Lashes in Gimme Gimme, the most wanted range. These are like one of my favourite lashes to wear so I just applied that using my Revlon Lash Glue. Again, the Revlon Lash Glue is so good, I will make sure to link it in the info box. And now I'm also using the Vibrant Purple shade that we use from NYX. And I'm just uh, really like buffing this roughly on my lower lash line. You can be more precise if you want to, like use smaller brushes and go closer to the lash line. But when it comes to my lower lash line, I like it to be really like blended out and smoky. I'm now using a NYX brush. Again, I don't know what number it is, but I will try to write everything in detail in the other box <laughs> um, but I'm using the Bobbi Brown Longwear Gel Liner in black ink and I applied this on my waterline honestly it's like the best thing to put on your waterline because it doesn't budge and doesn't leak and doesn't smudge under your eyes which I hate and I'm also making sure that my lash line and my falsy lash line is super black like jet black I also did go in with some mascara on my lower lashes as always and I'm now back onto the face. I'm using this shade here from the Urban Decay Naked Shift Palette in Medium Dark Shift and I'm just going over the cream contour to set it in place and just define it a bit more. Like I wanted my contour to be super strong because it was a glam look and you know I like to go a bit extra sometimes you know I can be a bit extra. <laughs> But yeah, I'm just making sure that I'm bronzing the perimeter of my face, my nose, my cheeks, my jawline. Um, so yeah, mostly the perimeter of your face. You don't have to go all out like I did. Like I did a lot of contouring, but I just also went in with my beauty blender just to make sure um, it was softened and not too harsh. Now onto lips, I'm using the Lime Crime Shroom Liquid Lipstick. This is one of my favourite colours. It's like that perfect warm tone brown. Um... And so I just applied this. I wanted to wear gloss, but then I thought about it and I was like, there's a lot going on in the eyes, so let me just not put gloss. I'll just keep the lips matte. And then for highlighter, I'm using the Jouer Highlighter in Skinny Dip. It's, this is such a beautiful gold highlight and it's so soft. It's not powdery. It's so good. Like, so good. People, so many bloggers rave about this stuff, but it's actually really, really good. And now I'm going to be applying some more highlight. Oh. It's hard for me to see what's coming next with the timeline, my computer's being a bit slow, but um, here I'm just blending the edges of the highlight because I did put a lot, so I used a clean brush to blend the edges. And then finally I'm using the Kat Von D setting spray, the locket one, and just setting my whole face. I also wanted to kind of moisturise my like collarbone and chest area, so I'm using the Glam Glow Moisturising Sun Glow. I like the Sun Glow one because it makes you look a little bit tanner, like a little bit. Especially if you're paler than me, it will definitely give you a bit of a tan look. And I also went in with the same colour from the Naked Contour Palette by Urban Decay. And I'm just kind of contouring my collarbones. Like you can just suck it all in and then your bones will come out and you just like contour around it. Ignore that big patch that I just made a bit of a mistake but I, I fixed it. <laughs> But yeah, that's the end of this Get Ready With Me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll have my sister's one up very soon. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye!